be the show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. Ten hits, two errors. They left 12 men on base. The game's futures. Steve Ullman, the Dominican left-hander, will get the nod to start here. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this guy comes into this start, Matt, having lost two of his last three starts, so you know he wants to get off on the right foot in this one. One of the keys, getting outs early and establishing his off-speed pitch repertoire early on in this one. We'll see if he can do that in this one here today. So striding forward now, Russell Farrell, and he'll start out their half of the third, top of the order to hit out towards second. Scooped up on the backhand. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Digging in to try it again. Big Daddy, Big Daddy. He successfully laid down a sack bunt in his last plate appearance. This is line to left. But he'll flag this one down toward the alley. Nearly trouble, but instead, the inning is over. Pretty painless half of the... Digging in, Sebastian Rodriguez. Number 14, Sebastian Rodriguez. Line toward right center. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. Definitely tried to elevate the heater right there with two strikes, but caught way too much of the plate. Nice execution by the hitter. Digging in. Big Daddy, Big Daddy. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. This one's down to third. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. And the streak will continue as he creeps even higher up the all-time list. Hey, now into the 30s, yeah. D-Road. Do you think he starts looking ahead, 100%. thinking about that magic number, maybe getting it to 40? Yeah, I don't think you ever worry about Joe D's number, but when you start climbing into the 30s, man, there's not many guys that have been there. This is just a steady diet of staying in the zone for over a month. Bartolo Soriano. Line drive to left. And get out, get out, that's fly. in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. And he is in there at third is the possible tying run. Nice approach by the batter right there. When you know your boy is moving, you start seeing stuff happening out of your peripheral vision. Wait for him to lock in, stay within his at-bat, not swing at something outside the zone, and now put it first to third. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Philip McCray. And his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. And it's a base hit as they finally break through here to tie the ball game at one. You know, d -Row, in today's game, it's not... Coming to the plate now, Cliff Whiters. He came through with an RBI single in his last at-bat. Whiters. 1-1. One, one. Hit ball to second. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now at the plate, James Uwasi. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. This one hard the other way. On to first, and there were two down. Stepping into the box, Big Daddy, Big Daddy, he singled his last time up. First pitch of the at-bat. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Samuels sprinting after it, makes the play, and there are two gone. Digging in, Big Daddy, Big Daddy. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. Now here's a line drive. That gets down. It could be extra bases. And they've come back to win it here in 11 innings.
Endings just don't get much better than this. Great job at the plate putting the ball in play, and then the runner at first does the rest. Stop at third, no way. Rounded third, flew home, and scored the game winner. My heart is still in my throat. Well, the man you see there didn't start this one on the mound, but his performance certainly was impactful. That earns him the Topps Player of the Game award. The final well, I thought he did a real nice... Welcome to MLB The Show and this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Tonight, the finale of this four-game set between the Northwest Arkansas Naturals and the Arkansas Travelers. It's baseball. At the plate, Elvis Gonzalez, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Now the one and one pitch. Ground ball to second, this could be two. Romine, relay to first in time, and just like that, this side. Stepping up now, Elvis Gonzalez. The one, two. Hit back up the middle, fielded cleanly. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Gordon Beckham will get his shot when we return. So striding in, Big Daddy, Big Daddy, he'll get to take his first cuts here. Breaking ball in for a strike. Now a ball lying toward the gap in left center. It's down for an extra base hit as they have their first hit of the contest. Around yeah, second, yeah. he's on his way to third. The relay throw, and he is in there. The speed they always talk about with this guy was on full display there. Yeah, when you've got elite speed like this guy does, Matt, you don't need any help from the fielders to give you more time. He's thinking extra bases as soon as the ball gets to the outfield, and that time, he wanted three. Batting ninth, catcher, Bartolo Soriano. Now a fastball that just misses here as the count moves to two and one. He's set, and the two-one pitch. Now a ball lined to the left side, but this will be a foul ball. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. Big Daddy takes his lead at third with one away. Struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. That strikeout changes the whole complexion of the inning. He was definitely pitching for it with a runner on third and one out, and he Love got that. it. Now it's going to take a hit or something like a wild pitch to get that guy home. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. Missed with a breaking ball. Those 0-2 curveballs are really tough for guys to lay off. There's a reason it's such a common pitch in that count, but he did well to spit on it there. Push softly over toward the right side. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. Boy, Dero, that's a case right there. Striding forward now is the DH, James Uwasi. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat. Another big hit right here. Swinging a soft liner, and that'll find its way into right field for a one out single. Boy, D roll, that ball wasn't hit very hard, but when you're struggling like this guy is, any knock is a good knock. Yeah, 100%. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Hiroshi Tadano, runner in scoring position with Sukan. Here now the 2 2. Bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Big Daddy, Big Daddy, he scored after tripling in his first plate appearance. What's he got in store for us here? Now a bunt attempt here. And good hustle to get over and tag him for the out.
Now batting, Big Daddy, Big Daddy will try and get something started in the home half of the seventh. Number 99. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Manuel ranging back on the warning track. He makes the catch. So a big moment in the ball game here. Cesar Santiago, although there are a couple of bases open, and we'll see if they think about working around him. Looking to keep this a one-run game. The pit. One, one, one. Hit out towards second to his right. Big day. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. So disaster strikes here in the ninth as a late rally has certainly dampened the mood of these fans. Sixth, seventh, and eighth. So stepping in, Big Daddy, Big Daddy, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Swing and a fly ball. And this should at least get home the tying run. The catch is made. Here comes the tying run from third. In to score from third is the tying run. It's now a 5-5 ball game. That was a really good at bat right there. You're trying to tie this thing up any way that you can. He hits the sack fly to the outfield, and the tying run comes in to score. Now at the plate, Big Daddy, Big Daddy, the winning run is at first base. Here's the first pitch, lying toward the gap in left center. That's in for a base hit, and he's two for three. Throw comes into the infield, and the winning run moves up to second now with nobody out. Don't sleep on the bottom of the order right there. He broke Settling in now, Big Daddy, Big Daddy. He singled his last time up. Number 99. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. Here's the 0-1. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. Hey, this is interesting right here. Got him down 0-2. He's been swinging the heck out of the bat. I thought they would pitch around him. He's going to have to button it up a little bit. Played on the backhand. And that's out number one. Striding in, Elvis Gonzalez is one away. The runner at first represents the potential go ahead score. Double play is in. However, oh, on the ground is short. Could this. Second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So no runs on. And guys, time to recognize the man who really stood out this afternoon, and there he is, Gordon Beckham. Don't put that card in your bicycle spokes. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, just a great all-around performance from him at the plate, as the stats indicate. Ended up with four hits, including a home run, so there is no doubt he was... This prospect has become the object of a notable sports management company's attention. However impressive an agent's qualifications may be, the trading in of a longtime trusted mentor for a corporate wheeler dealer can feel like a scary step. But a fledgling must leave the nest for a big world awaits.